today we are in this fast-paced modern world. So it's very easy to get distracted by anything and everything. Everything around us is moving very fast, like it's some kind of a competition. And most people do not take enough time to observe and be grateful for the moment that they are in. These days, people are most stressed than ever before because we are drowning with information, commitments, responsibilities, and our need to keep up with everything. We are constantly provided with opportunities to focus on the simple little moments in life. But many people do not pay much attention to these seemingly insignificant moments. I know that it's not easy to slow down and be intentional about everything that we do. I myself am still learning to slow down and be intentional. Every time I'm able to do so, I feel the difference in the level of satisfaction that I get from life. It's a privilege to slow down, be conscious and appreciate what's right before us. Life is so simple, but the modern day lifestyle has blinded us and we are constantly running from one thing to another. I know that it's not as simple to adapt to slow living when we have been trained to hustle. I know some people find my videos very slow, but that's because these videos are not meant for everyone. I know that we are used to the fast pace and anything slow is not as easy to get used to. I was that person myself but I've come to appreciate and enjoy slow living. I'm totally aware that not everyone will be able to resonate with the kind of lifestyle that I'm trying to live. And my intention here is not to build a huge community, but a small community that can resonate with the kind of lifestyle that I'm trying to live. The very first thing I had to understand as I embarked on this journey to slow living was learning to value the simplicity of life and to be grateful for everything that I have, no matter how little. We often get caught in the web of this consumerism and hustle. We are constantly trying to achieve more and accumulate more. But if we can learn to pause, look around and be grateful for what we already have, we will understand that we have enough and we don't need to be in a hurry all the time. It's all about choosing to be in the moment, choosing to nourish our body and the mind. Only when we take time to look after ourselves, then we will have the energy to look after others. So one of my self-care practice is to take time to prepare my breakfast and give myself the permission to take enough time to enjoy what's on my table. The start of the day is the perfect time to be more mindful and intentional about everything we do and it also helps us set the right tone for the rest of our day. Yes, I do understand that it's quite difficult in today's day and age to sit and enjoy every meal of the day. So I have been implementing more mindfulness into preparing and sitting down to have my breakfast. This very simple ritual makes a whole lot of a difference in how my day unfolds. It's as simple as taking enough time to sit, be grateful and enjoy my breakfast. When I do this, I'm reminded of all the other blessings in my life as well. It's just about recognizing and appreciating the full worth of the moment that we are in. I never get tired of the smell of my coffee in the morning. At that moment, I take time to understand the incredible amount of time and effort that went into making it possible for me to get my cup of coffee. This very simple realization fills my heart with gratefulness and though I get to have my breakfast every morning, I never take what's in front of me for granted. 
when we are fully present at the moment, it's so much rewarding and fulfilling. We are a generation that's constantly on the want of more, more time, more money, and more things. But when we learn to pause and reflect, it helps us to see what we have, what we actually need, and what we need to let go in order to live our best life. I have received so many insights by being present and slowing down. I've learned that I actually don't need as much as I thought I did to live my best life. Slowing down has made me realize that I have everything that I need for the moment that I'm in. It's only when we are thinking about the next moment or the next task while we are in the midst of one, we feel that we need more. I'm also aware that everyone has a differently structured day and that it's not easy for everyone to schedule a slow breakfast routine or a slow routine for any meal. However, we all have some control over at least a portion of our day and if we can schedule some time in a day to be more mindful and intentional in whatever it is that we do, we will be able to see that it makes a huge difference in the quality of our life. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I would like to know if you schedule some time in your day to be more mindful and intentional. Thank you for being here. I will see you all in my next video.